did not have her cast. Okay, thanks for checking on that. It's really swollen though. Phyllis could have her calf any day. It's two days before I go to Missouri. Take a picture and bring it to you. Okay. okay, thank you. Let's see what you got, Jonah. So yeah, she's looking uh, she's looking inflated, that's for sure. Two days before I go to Missouri, a lot to do. Namely, stay with me guys. Namely, get ready for, hey, hopefully coming today or tomorrow. Gotta go get the tractor to get that. Jason's coming to um, get some openings in our stall for our use. We're gonna put our use in there. We're gonna put our ram next to the pigs, I think. I mean, we're gonna go over it with jo uh, Greg. Gotta keep them separated. Just cut the ponytail off. Mm -hmm. And then it pretty much rip. Well, you could oh, open up your rip a little bit. You coming with? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. The Everflow water kept getting clogged up. We put it up. We ramped it up. Doing a willy. And now, a little bit of gunk like feathers or mulch gets in there. It can flow over it without overflowing the water. Hey! Oh. We're coming at you, just one second. I normally don't free choice feed everybody. Cause the old ladies can tend to overdo it, but they haven't been overdoing it. So it's just been a lot easier. Everybody on the same thing, grower feed. They didn't eat more than a third a pound of grain each. So I don't see why we need to ration it at this point. Okay, you gonna try the new rigid feed pail? Oh, I can't do it. You can't do it, huh? Mama will have to. Uh, I know Mama can. Hold on, hold on. Set you up a bucket. Put that down. We gotta figure out how to get you to do it. I can stand in Henry. You can, you could stand in Henry. Okay, take one of those squashes. Actually, take that mango and throw it in there. And then as soon as you do that, grab the feed. You've described it. Distracted one. Hey, the rigid bucket help? Yeah, a lot. Now that we have that pen over there set up for the ram, uh, we need a service. We need to get, we'll, we'll have to just store our wood chips underneath this tarp. This is gonna be our deep bedding pen for the ram, I think. We're gonna run it by Greg. Just adding mulch every day. The carbonaceous diaper. I don't think they can get out of this. I don't know, look. We might need to add some more zip ties. Maybe zip ties and T-posts. Good morning. I am back in my favorite room, apparently, because it's where I'm spending a lot of my time. I washed the sheets and the duvet cover last night. Um, so I need to get that back on the bed. I texted with Darcy. She's got our address. She's going to be here around noon to one today. And I have a list, a huge list of things. I slept better last night. I feel better today. I don't know what that was. It's over, so that's great. And I I'm feeling super great. I woke up in the middle of the night and I was thinking of all the things I gotta get done, like this week, next week, all blah, blah. So I laid there for like an hour thinking of everything and then I was like, I should write this down and then I can go back to sleep, I bet. I wrote it down, I went right back to sleep. So, there you go. I have my list though, it's good. I'm gonna start working on it now, start getting this room prepped and ready for our friends. Wondering how our mulch is doing. Fan's drying it off good at the surface. We're trying to dry this out. Oh yeah, it's quite a bit, quite a bit of wet. Check on you guys. Doing good. I see you guys have eaten your rooster teeth. They swallow these little rocks. It goes down into a muscle called a gizzard that work as teeth. And they that grinds up their feed. And so I'm thinking they're, they're needing this to get a boost on breaking down their feed to digest it. Where are you going? 
Okay. He's gonna go feed grandma's posse. And I got us a five gallon bucket of feed in here so we don't have to keep going for it. Can you get an app, the apple cider vinegar around the corner, please? Thanks. Is there a calf? No calf. There could be a calf any day from Phyllis. She came to us just bred. We don't know exactly when she was bred. Uh, could be anywhere between now and early September. So hopefully not while I'm gone to Missouri. You cage fighters ready for a move? All right, let's get these guys from there on over one. On second thought, we need to keep them here. Where do you want these guys when I'm gone, Jonah? Like these guys don't need to be way up there while I'm gone, which is where they're gonna be at this juncture. I so, want them to be down there. Well, let's slow it down. Jason's here, so I need to go check him. Jonah, just let's leave him here today, but let's lease forward, move forward the coop. Let's go talk to Jason, Mr. Brown. Yes. Up. No calf, huh, guys? No. Nope. Morning. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good. You enjoying this cool weather? Yeah, it's nice. That's why you moved to North Carolina after all, right? That's exactly why. You got your staples, you got your wire. Yep. All right, let me show you what's up. All right. Boy, this is ready. Doesn't Ooh. that look yummy? <laughs> <laughs> is that lunch? <laughs> That's. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Bacon and sausage. We're turning that into bacon okay. and sausage, All buddy. Right. Giving that to the pigs. Nice. They, they would rather have it cooked than raw. Really? They'll eat it raw, but they digest it better with, wow. with it cooked. So okay. I'm spoiling them. <laughs> now we let it cool off for a while. That's great. <laughs> That's the chicken guts. Nice. And the chicken butcher. Jason, sheep are going in here. Yep. You can see the only natural light. We've got a little bit of natural light coming in right now. Mm -hmm. Jonah, can you move that and shut this bottom door? We have a little bit of light right there. We might have some light coming in from above the stall. So I'm thinking then a window slightly smaller than three feet then. This way. Maybe from there to here. Yeah. So just one, yeah, just do one. Yeah. So be right in the middle. Yeah. Something and I may have you if you get time. Do those other windows just like I've done those. And then another big one right here above this. So maybe from right here to here. And that'll get them air, that'll get them light. So out here you can just see what I've done with that window. This would be a nice little holding stall for situations like this. We're gonna bring the sheep in for, to keep them in there 24 seven for a few days to get used to us. They go in there and feed them four times, train them. Yeah. They're unhandled. That'd be good. <laughs> and then we'll start running them out to the pasture and then herding them back in and handling them. We're in good hands with Jason. Let's go feed these pigs. Can you carry these pans? I'll carry the feeders. Good morning, guys. All right. There's many things I learned from Jordan Greens over the last weekend. Pig operation. One is to not feed the pigs directly on the ground. Just, whoa, a parasite precaution. Sure, they'll till on their own. They're getting the ground. They're getting minerals from the ground. But eating is a different story, especially if sometimes, and I'm thinking it makes sense because sometimes they poop. These guys are pooping all over the place. We could accidentally get their feed on their poop and therefore they're gonna pick up a parasite. So let's do feed pans. I was feeding them on the ground to encourage them to till, but uh, they're going to do it on their own. I saw it at Jordan's. I saw it at Joel Salatin's. So I'm going to go with feeding them in the pans, letting them till on their own and stay safely away from their own manure. Colloidal silver, possible pink eye. That's the one. <laughs> All right, they're going to need to be moved before I leave, which is, they need to be moved tomorrow. I got you. Look. You think this is another week right here? Yeah. All right, we'll go right through here. We've got our lane cleared here for our fence. We're gonna save it for tomorrow morning. Put up this fence and move these guys over. Let's get flossy while we're over here. You guys have done a killer job mowing this down, getting you to new pasture today. Listen, the minimalist is coming today. Mm -hmm. That means we can't have a maximist, dirty, cluttered, overgrown grass yard. 
So do you want to milk or do you want to string trim around the raised beds? String trim around the raised beds. Okay, Josiah and I will milk. Uh, right now I am just, I have like a bunch of returns of things that I need to make from the kitchen right now and just from other things. So that is what I'm doing. It's pretty boring. <clears throat> I think that I got all my office work done. Now I'm gonna put this duvet cover on the duvet. Got that all right, Josiah? Okay, I'd say a gallon and a half-ish, gallon and a quarter-ish. They do get more when they're down on this pasture, I think, because it's a little bit better grass and no production reflects that. But there's no better way to improve the grass than to actually put the cows on it. Come on. I figured out how to get her out. Pet her. <laughs> what, you don't like being pet? <laughs> Just give her a pet, she backs out. Yeah, yeah. Just give you a good pet. Keep you moving. Come on, I'm gonna pet you. If you don't keep moving. <laughs> I hear Jason banging around. Look at you, man. Even getting around the net. Looking good, man. Proud of you. How you doing, Phyllis? Hey, your vulva is swollen. <clears throat> you ready to get birth? Your udder's tight. Soon. We're gonna let them in here. I wasn't able to mow behind them last time in here. So some of the weeds are up, but there's a lot of grasses in there yet. And I'm hoping sheep is gonna help us with that too, because they're supposed to eat things cows aren't so interested in. So we're gonna follow the cows with the sheep and then the mower, then the chickens. Let's get them out there to the new grass. Come on guys, got a treat for you. This is always a good sign when they stop right at the new grass entrance. They're not hunting anything, it's all good. Good morning, beautiful one. You feeling better? Yes, I'm feeling so much better. Good. How do you like Jonah's job? He did such a good job. He's blown off the sidewalk. He's string trim around. Yard's presentable. What happened here? How do we let it get like this? Well, we made a dent. It's time to eat breakfast. We'll have to tidy this up and go get the tractor after breakfast. We need the tractor to move some grain around to get ready for this hay to make room for the hay. The grain's sitting where we want to stock a lot of this hay. We're getting like 610 bells, y'all. Beans, quiche, sausage and a quiche, oh, so delicious. You ready for the Darcy inspection? No, I'm not ready yet, but I'm getting there. On our way to get the tractor. You overwhelmed yet, Rebecca? Overwhelmed? Okay, good. That's exactly what I want to hear. No, I mean, I have a lot of things that I need to do, but I feel, I feel okay. About it. I feel like I'm gonna get it all done. Should I be overwhelmed? You, you do have this no. guy. Mm. You oh, do have I this keep, guy. I keep <clears throat> Papa from being overwhelmed big time. <laughs> yeah, he does. Good deal. Let's see if it starts, Jonah. <laughs> Woo! Thanks. All right, just sling it in there. Okay, I'm gonna dump it right there. Chickens will help me spread it out. Help break that down. Now we gotta get the mulch. Well, that time I dug too deep, got into the earth. <laughs> this time, the first time I dig too shallow. So, Jonah, this has got some dirt in it. Don't get the dirt, just throw off the mulch onto our mulch pile there, I buddy. I guess you're getting a little rusty. Yeah, it's been a while. How's it going down here, Jason? Good. I got the first, the first window in. Oh! <laughs> yeah, we got some light. Wow, we got some light. Even Big though. difference. Yeah, I'm working on that. That one next. Okay. And while we're at it, we're filling in our hole here. Wow, that's plenty, huh? Okay, I'll get a hard rake. We'll rake this smooth. Get that. 
level. Jonah, it can even slope. Like, it can be higher against the wall and then slope out, okay? You got it. It's leveled out, looking good. Doesn't this seem so much better? It does. And if he has time, he's going to open up more up there. at the top. I mean, why not? Yeah. We might even get a roof for Jason to give us a sunroof. Ooh. This might be a winter deep bedding system for them. Yeah. We could keep hay in that stall, Rebecca, and come down and just throw hay over. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, like, because you could cut it. Actually, I saw, I saw feeders yeah. that are in the walls where you could just, like, cut. Reach through. Well, you, like, put the feeder hanging, like, That's here. That's my first stall, so you yeah. have to figure out And that. you would take this off and then, like, build, like, a rack back there so then yeah. you could shove hay in there, and then it would, they would yep. be able to access it right here. Jonah, what did we do to our tire? Oh, uh, snap. Question. I bet there's, like, a nail or a right. really big thorn in there. We gotta get Doc. Uh, gotta get uh, Mark out here. And isn't the string trimmer broke down too? Yes. You carry one of those. Goodness. It's strong, dude. Okay, guys. It's 12:15. Usually I'm editing by now for an hour. That's when I start getting <laughs> too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed. That's when I start getting. I don't know. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. So. I've pulled, we've got to get this feedback out of here. Hay's got to go in here, but gosh, we got to figure out something to do with these old hay. I'm, I've texted him. I'm going to see if he's coming today. We might have tomorrow to do this. But gosh, tomorrow we got to pick up the truck. We might have to do this. We're going to have to move the pigs. It's stacking up. That's the day before we leave. So I cleared, pulled one feed bag off. It's almost empty. We're going to push it in. Another feed bag, which was the pigs. I poured it in the new one. It was almost empty. So now we push these back and then we'll put that one in. Is there only three? Three? Yeah, that should be no problem. Actually, I think we'll probably have to push this back. We got these in there. At least the feed's out of the way there, and if they came, we could hustle and just throw that other stuff. Okay, let's go see if he's coming. I gotta edit. Maybe this evening. Um, maybe sooner if he's coming today. All right, well, I forgot about this porch. We gotta pick up this porch. First impressions, y'all. You guys have done a killer job. Yep. Great job. Hiding a little bit of shelfage there, but we'll be okay. They're here. You finished it just in time. Hello! Hello. I've been frantically cleaning my home. <laughs> it's so Say good hi. to see you. Hi. Hi. Everybody okay. knows you, but who's in I think the people? crew knows this is hi. my daughter Felicita. <laughs> okay. And this is Dear Dawn. Okay. <laughs> Dear Dawn from right. the minimal mom. Okay. Yeah. She also has a YouTube channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, we're gonna see if we pass the minimalist inspection. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I've tried. We're yeah. not inspecting that. Don't worry. <laughs> it's always so fun with your kitchen though, where you're like, I kind of like it open. Like uh, I kind of no. like not so much stuff in here. I was like, oh. Or y'all heart broke? Get rid of it. No. You're were y'all expecting life. there to be children? No. Hold on. Oh. Oh. You have to see the oh, nice. Y'all know Anna? Darcy does. Hi, yes. Hey, Hi. Darcy, nice Remember? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Did you paint all this yourself? I, I did. Unfortunately. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then, show them the door up there, just so. All right. Been at it in a while. Jason's coming and checking in. Oh, yeah. That's uh, probably just firewood. for the burn pile, yeah. Or firewood. Oh! Looking good, man. You know what? We have time. You still have some time? Yeah. I mean, it's only 240. Yeah. How about trimming it with this wood? Yeah, we can do that. Do a trim around that. Mm 
That looked good. Yeah, I could do that. Boom. Guys, we live. That's my bedroom right there, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> right above, right above the sheet. <laughs> I, hope, I hope they don't bleed. Uh, bleed. Is it bleed? Bleed. 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 Yeah. Bleed. No. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah, wake bleed. you up. That, whatever that is. Okay. Bleed. Bleed. Pleated. Pleated. <laughs> I don't know. What that I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> Mr. Google Pants. What do you call it? The sheep noise. Our bedroom is literally right there. Behind that OSB. Okay. You put boards over this. Yeah, I just put it over That's there. good. That looks nothing good. Fancy, but... No, nothing fancy. And I think it'll work. man, this is a more this is such a more yeah. inviting place. This is definitely more our style. Okay, so and up there too. I would trim it, and then if you have time, do two more windows up there. Oh, up there too? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't even have to come out of my house. I could just come down, throw them some hay, throw them some mulch. That's true. Never go out in the snow. Your pajamas? <laughs> come out here in my pajamas. <laughs> hey, good, Papa, we, Which we, my pajamas are my underwear. <laughs> oh, Papa. It's all good. Papa, we could run a little, Papa, we could run a little house, all the stuff in it. Make you a tunnel. Yeah. The ladder down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I sleep, guys. That's the sheet. <laughs> That's that wall. This is that OSB wall right there. <laughs> Bleat. Bleat. I think it's bleat. Okay, let's ask Mr. Google Pants. It, it says it in Farm Boy. What do they say? Bleated. Bleat. Bleat. Okay, let's look that up. Bleat. Of a sheep or a cat. Make a characteristic raving cry. So it is bleat. <laughs> All right. My hey guy got back to me too. He doesn't know for sure when it's gonna happen today or tomorrow or what time. So let's hope maybe not this afternoon. Hopefully this evening we can get out there and work on it. Oh yeah! Finished editing. Beauty has to second edit it. Uh, sh we will. Oh, and by the way, look at this. Thank you for showing your support to Art & Brie. We put a special video up yesterday trying to help them raise money for this mold issue. Look at you guys. $51,000. What a blessing. They're feeling super loved. And it's very fitting. As much as they've given to the community, it's so amazing that the community is giving back to them. So thank you guys for doing that. Just gives me chill bubs to think about it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for showing them the support. They're gonna do wonderful things with it to fix and repair their house. Look who's here. Now that's a truck. Yeah, I had <laughs> I've been looking for one for about a year. That is three years old, but it didn't have the 28,000 miles on it. It's a good one. What happened? Is this a wheel? You already fixed it? No, I just okay. know I puffed it up. <coughs> okay. Do you already put air in it? Yeah. So it will bubble where it's hole it is. You look like you're ready for business. How's it going over here, Jason? Good. Got one window trimmed. What do you need to cut, Jonah? Cut at that mark? This mark and this mark. This is his plans, I guess. What are you building, Jonah? Um, like a concrete saw. Okay. But it's fake. A toy saw. Toy saw. All right. There's your pieces, buddy. Okay. I'd like to see it when you're done. Now I'm about tackling this garage area, getting ready for hay. What do I do with the crumbled hay? Those are gonna have mold because they've been against that wet wall. These guys might even have mold on the end, although that wall's not wet. Bunch more piled up hay, ha ha. Yes. These old 2,000 pound totes. Thinking this moldy stuff should probably get thrown out to the chickens. We're gonna put this down and we're not gonna put the hay against the wall next time. I should probably put on a mask before moving that. Uh, let's see if these are ruined. No? No, I wouldn't say so. So those are probably all, all right. Those we could actually stack right here and put them up top so they're the first to get got not the last okay i'm ready to knock this out
Yeah. We got it. Good hay, moldy hay. Hopefully prevent that hay from doing that next time. Look at what we have here. Man, you whipped that together fast. What is it? Oh look. Concrete saw. Nice. It's got a battery. You're building concrete saw toys. I love it. Good job.